Last Jubala date, vanilla cream cold foam, so I might try to froth. When things are really tough and they're really froth. I'm not doing well with us being so quirky. So excited about I got four of them, so I saw them. Life, and like sometimes life just doesn't work out perfectly. I don't know. Hello everyone, this vlog is so exciting. So this is a few days before we have even announced that we're moving to freaking Colorado. <laughs> um, but today is Dylan's last day in Raleigh. He's actually leaving before me. If you're confused, we're moving to Colorado for Dylan's job. And I'm gonna link the like announcement that we're moving video down below, but I just wanted to vlog. This is gonna be like a random, probably few days in my life over the course of like a week or something. I wanted to vlog Dylan's last day, us getting him ready for the road trip. I'm staying back um, due to our lease and stuff. Again, if you have questions, watch the video linked below. But we're moving to Colorado. I'm so freaking pumped, you guys. So I'm gonna go pick up Dylan. He's getting an oil change right now because he is driving like 25 hours tomorrow, obviously stopping at a few hotels and whatnot. But I'm gonna get him ready for the road trip. We've got to pack him up, just some random stuff a few days ahead. And then Winnie and I will be here by ourselves for about like a month until my parents come and start helping us pack up our furniture. Probably less than a month actually, but yay, I'm so excited. Moving vlogs start now get pumped i'm picking up dylan right now from where he's been working for the past like month so he's just been working at nc state where he played college football and he's just been like ga'ing here basically like college coaching is all over the place if you guys don't know and you can like move jobs super quick and stuff like that so this is last day of work here i'm sure he's sad look at him standing there he's been coming here for five years you guys and he just had to say bye to all of his coaches that makes me want to cry <laughs> Look how cute he is. He's gonna have to get all new clothes. <laughs> Are you sad? Uh, nope. You're excited? Yep. You're excited to wear a new color besides red and black? Yeah. <laughs> they had blueberry? Yeah. Fresh blueberry? Or is it a blueberry waffle? It's a blueberry waffle. What did you get? Sandwich. Why is mine in the bag and you're in a bowl? This is the waffle. No, yours is in a bowl. Oh. This does is it, the waffle. Does it matter? I think this is the waffle. Oh, that is the waffle. It's so sweet. Don't, it's just gonna be me in the vlogs for like a month and a half. People are gonna be so bored. I guess you're not really in them to begin with, but. There you go. Our last Jubala date, cheers. Hang on, hand sanitizer. Awesome. Last Jubala date. Oh, that's sad. Right now, maybe, probably not forever. I mean, Dylan, you're never, we're probably never gonna come back here together. How do you know? Unless it's for work. Yeah. Like, who knows? Who knows that it won't happen? It's so weird, all the places we could live. I just ran to Target, got Dylan some road trip snacks, and then just like bathroom stuff. He's staying with another coach until I get there. Um, so basically, we're just packing up a good bit of his clothes for him to be able to live for like, a month I would say maybe a little longer and then I will come with obviously all the rest of the stuff at the end of March but we're gonna get him all packed up I'm nervous for him to drive super far on his own but he's gonna stop three times I think and break the trip up all in all the trip is 40 or not 40 <laughs> 24 hours which is crazy that that's how far we're moving away we're gonna live like almost 30 hours from my parents which is so crazy so Let's do a last time cheers together. Can I take this Georgia blanket? Yes, here you go. I'm glad you want to represent Georgia. I appreciate that. The lighter one. I had it more. Ooh, a lot of vodka in there. No, I put lemonade and cranberry. Oh. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Tell me if you want me to pour more vodka on it. Where's the camera? I'm not filming. Oh. That's 
Mine's really good too, I like it. Okay, here you go. Bang. Moving day for dad. Oh, she tried to jump Winnie, up. Come on. Winnie, dad is leaving us. Are you sad? I am sad. <laughs> it's just gonna be me and you. It's just me and you for a little bit. What do you think about that? What do you think? <laughs> Dad here. Hmm? Okay. Okay, turning on the camera to show you guys that I still struggle with stuff. Dylan just left. I'm a little bit just like emotional and I think I'm just kind of nervous for his drive. Um like him doing that by himself kind of stresses me out, but I mean, nothing, nothing we can do. I'm like, obviously have to stay here and he has to be there and that's just that. I feel like we're doing long distance again, which kind of makes me laugh, but yeah, it's just going to be Winnie and I here for the next few weeks until my parents get here to help start packing up. I don't just got on the road and I'm going to be sitting here patiently waiting for him to make it there safe and all of that so it's like 6 45 in the morning i think i'm gonna go back to sleep i just woke up with him to get him going make him breakfast things like that so i'm gonna go back to sleep just because i am a little bit upset and i feel like just going back to bed will help so just wanted to check in and be real that like it's all fun and stuff but like in reality this is like what i'm dealing with and going through so it's been a little bit, you guys. I've recovered from my mental breakdown that I was having this morning. Let me pull over so I can chat. I just left the grocery store and Starbucks. Always makes you feel better. So I took a little nap after Dylan left this morning and I just kind of wanted to touch on if you're confused about what's going on. Dylan um, left today for Colorado. We are moving to Colorado, Fort Collins and he had to leave today because he has to be there for work starting Monday and it's currently Friday. So he has to spread out the trip within three days because it's a 25 hour car ride and for him to do it by himself. So he's staying in a hotel one night, a friend's one night, and then he'll finally be there. But I've just been so anxious and nervous for him to do the drive on his own. It just makes me really like nervous and also there's been really bad weather he already had to postpone the trip one day because there was like an ice storm where he needed to be driving through so and we're from the south so we're not used to driving in the snow so it just kind of makes me nervous and especially like him doing it by himself that's just like a long way to drive by yourself in the car but i keep checking in on him he's almost at the hotel he's like two hours at the first hotel that he's stopping at so he's doing good on timing and stuff like that but uh yeah he is starting a new coaching job at colorado state he got a new job we're so excited and um i have to stay back for like 50 days because we had to sign a 60 day like notice to break our lease so my memory card was full surprise um but yeah so i just was a little bit upset this morning because if you're new around here on the channel uh, Dylan and I did long distance for like three and a half years so it kind of just like brought back memories and the feelings of having to like say goodbye and do distance and it just made me like I'm gonna like cry talking about it like it just made me really upset because I hated that part of like being in a distance relationship if you guys are in one you know how it is like it's the worst having to say goodbye but I think I've just gotten so used to coming home and being home every single night and always having Dylan right by me and I love that and I think I got so used to it and comfortable and now I think I just kind of like felt that feeling again of distance if that makes any sense obviously when people are like are y'all breaking up I'm like no we're not breaking up we are just having to like make and deal with life and like sometimes life just doesn't work out perfectly and like that's what we're having to deal with right now trying to get out of a lease which is like literally the biggest pain in the ass in the world first off and then just like moving all of our stuff like across the country it's just a lot and we're just trying to make it work so i just have like a lot of emotions lately i haven't really been feeling 
my best self and I also have been having kind of a lot of built up anxiety about like future plans and stuff if that makes sense um so I just wanted to be real and honest with you guys about how exactly I'm feeling about it all yes we're so excited to move um just the all of the stuff that goes into it is the part that's stressing me out so anyways thought I would share I got a coffee to boost my mood and I'm gonna go home and just relax it's 20 nine degrees here and it's kind of rainy so i think it might start turning into like some type of snow i'm not exactly sure what's going on with the weather so i kind of want to get home hang out with winnie i have some i have a video to edit that will keep me busy keep my mind off things things like that but i'm very excited for don and i'm very very proud of him he never fails to amaze me like i knew he was gonna get something amazing so i'm so excited for him and i'm also very excited for us in our new chapter it's just like the leading up to it until i get there makes me anxious and sad and all that so i'll be here um until the end of march my parents will come the last week of march so literally so so soon like february is almost over and then it'll be March, it'll go by quick. I'm gonna start packing up, I'm excited about that. We're gonna be renting a house, which we're really excited about instead of an apartment, which I think will be nice um, for more room. We might get an extra bedroom so I could have an office and then we can also have a guest room just because we're gonna be so far from family now. If they ever wanna come visit, we don't want them to have to stay at a hotel and we also want me to be able to have an office because at the place we're at now, that's been like a huge, a huge issue with our apartment now because I feel like I don't really have like a set space to work and then um, a backyard for Winnie would be huge I also have been looking at some really cute ones and I'm very very excited because everyone that I've talked to about Fort Collins has said nothing but great things so we're very excited to get to Colorado and we're only gonna be living about a little less than an hour from Denver so that'll be really fun because um, I've heard great things about Denver as well I've been to Colorado once when I was little we went to Steamboat and I loved it. It was beautiful. So I'm very excited. If you live in Colorado, please reach out to me and let me know. I have no friends there. It's just Dylan, Winnie, and I. So we're excited, but just keeping it real and letting you know, like, it's not a picture perfect, like, life that I live. And I don't just, like, get to pack up, leave with my dream guy, get to move into this wonderful house. Like, it's been so hard finding a house that we can afford. It's been so hard with like breaking the lease at all the moving expenses. Like, it's just a lot. So, I just want to keep it real and let you know that, like, I'm not just some like fairy tale girl who can just like move across, across the country and like it'd be fine because it really it's a lot. So, just wanted to keep it real. Cheers. <laughs> just got home from the store, but I wanted to share with you guys really quick kind of my cold foam situation. So, I'm gonna make a coffee tomorrow morning. I don't know if this vlog is gonna go into tomorrow, but I can share the recipe in the next vlog. So make sure you're subscribed. I have heard nothing but amazing things about these Chobani creamers. So it was buy one, get one at Publix. So I got a sweet cream, which I'm figuring is gonna just taste like the vanilla cream cold foam. So I might try to froth this up and see how that is and then i also got a hazelnut i thought this would be good in like a hot coffee i just ordered a bunch of nespresso pods for our machine and then i also just picked up the original cold foam recipe that i do is half heavy whipping cream and then half half and half and then i do a splash of the vanilla syrup with like a sprinkle of salt or i will do uh just like my white chocolate syrup in it so it's kind of my coffee stuff i wanted to share because i get questions on the cold foam so i might try this one tomorrow and see how it is and then this would be easier for you guys just to grab this instead of having to do all of that with the frother and stuff did just get this new frother off of amazon i can link it i think it was literally 10 bucks or maybe like 12 bucks and it's super cute i just started following um i think it's coffee bay 97 on tiktok she also does instagram and this is the frother she uses and it's really quick easy easy to clean and all that so i got that i just need to put some batteries in it. Winnie, did you miss me? Did you miss me when I was gone? I missed you. God, I need to clean up. Place is a mess because we were trying to get Dylan packed up. But I also got some glazed donuts for myself, literally just for me. I'm gonna eat probably all six of these within the next week or the next two days, who knows? I'm gonna have one right now. I decided to treat myself, you guys, Publix, I don't know what it is, but I think Publix has the best donuts, hands down. Like, over Krispy Kreme, over everything, I think Publix glazed donuts are so good. <laughs> We're having a full-on cheat day, Winnie. This is all I need in my whole life, and I'll be fine. Yes? I'm not.
Good morning, everyone. It's the next morning, Saturday morning. I slept in. It is almost 11 o'clock. I'm like embarrassed to say that, but I stayed up late watching shows. It's just me here, so I feel like I'm like not on a schedule right now. But I wanted to get up, get moving with my morning. I just got an Amazon package, which I wanted to share with you guys. And then I also want to talk about Care Of. I have been loving this for my mornings. You guys know that I've been taking these for a while if you've been watching the channel. But I want to thank them for sponsoring today's video, working with me. You guys know Care Of is the way to go when it comes to taking vitamins and stuff. I find that I get very overwhelmed in the vitamin shop and I never know what to take. So the reason I love Care Of is because first off, it comes right to your door and it's personalized, individualized for you, just for you. And I also love how you go online, you take a five minute um, little short quiz. I retake the quiz very often because my health needs and concerns are always changing. And um, it's just nice to see kind of what your end goal is to see the stuff that you should be taking that you're lacking so i have a few i'll put in the description the things i take mine are right here super convenient super easy like i said going into the vitamin shop can be very overwhelming and i feel like by the time i walk out of there i just spent like hundreds of dollars on stuff that i maybe didn't even need to be taking i've been very unmotivated to work out and stuff but one of my like major 2021 goals was to kind of step up my health and just kind of like start taking better care of myself on the inside So care of is a great way to start with that. I know it's February. It's not too late to get started um, So if you're feeling kind of like You want to switch up or you want to better yourself in some type of way definitely check out care of I highly recommend it Individualized packets are perfect for getting back into your routine Especially if you're out of it like I have been I feel like care of is something that I've always stuck to even if I get out of my routine a little bit say with like working out or maybe not eating the healthiest care of is something that I can always come back to and I always take every morning or take every night and I always feel great doing so so if you guys want to get 50% off of your first care of purchase which is amazing deal you guys literally half off of your entire purchase you can go to takecareof.com and use my code rachelr50 get you 50 percent off Again, takecareof.com, rachelr50 is the code. I'll have everything linked down below in the description for you guys uh, to check out. And again, the vitamins I take. Also, I wanna say the vitamins I take might not be the vitamins you're gonna be taking. Everyone's body's different, everyone's needs, goals, all that are different. So just wanted to mention that. Um, and I'll have everything linked below. Thank you, Care Of, for sponsoring today's video. I love working with you guys. I'm gonna make a little coffee, get going. I have an Amazon package and I just got a notification that I have another package in the mailroom. So I might go take Winnie on a quick little walk. It's kind of, it's literally been raining for like four days straight here. I think that's also why I'm kind of in a funk. Um, so. We're gonna get going with that and I'll show you guys what I got from Amazon because I went crazy. There's one thing that didn't show up but I'll just t tell you guys about it. I have been obsessed with <laughs> Coffee Bay 97 on TikTok, I think that's her name. I literally went to her Amazon page and got like seven things. So I'm excited to show you guys. So the little things, right? Right, Winnie? Okay, little Amazon haul coming up. I finally bought some more espresso pods. Um, Okay, wait, I'm saying this wrong. Nespresso pods, but they're espresso. Wait, I don't know. <laughs> okay, anyways, this is the kind I get. I will have all of this stuff linked down below. And also, it's in my coffee section on my Amazon shop page. But love these. These are the double shot medium roast. I used to get the dark, but I find that it's a little too strong for me. So I just do the medium. And then I showed you guys this yesterday. I need to put batteries in it so I can use it. And then these cups, you guys, I am so excited about. I got four of them. So I saw these on her um, Amazon shop. And I was like, these are so cool and different. And I saw some TikToks that she used these in. So it's literally just a tall square glass. I just thought the shape, I'm trying to show you. I'll show you when I make my coffee today. I'm going to use one. But I just thought the shape was very cool. Something different than what I have. And I am obsessed with like collecting different cool glass cups. I don't know what it is. I have like a serious problem. But these were like... I think they were seven bucks a piece on Amazon, so I got four, and I really 
really like them and they're a good long size so i feel like it's good for like my iced coffees and then a straw in it really cute and then i got this which you guys are probably like what the hell it's just a so this is an ice tray i actually filled it last night because i wanted to be able to show you guys so it comes with this bin and then it has four or five trays in there you just stack them fill them up and then it pops out and then it comes with this little scooper so you can just leave it in and then you have little mini like kind of crushed ice which is my favorite ice for coffee and honestly drinks in general so i am an ice freak like i don't know what it is also obsessed with this big type of ice for my waters but for coffee i find that this ice doesn't make the coffee that cold i don't know if it's because there's only like two ice cubes in it or what it is but i find that little ice is better for my coffee and then i use this for my water that's also from amazon i can link it um but yeah i'm gonna pop this out and see how it is but i thought it was so cute that it comes with the little scooper and stuff i am so excited this is why we need a backyard at our new place because this is not it <laughs> and it's gonna be so much colder in colorado so like i cannot even imagine Right, Winnie? And you take a long time to go to the bathroom. This is the white chocolate syrup that I put in my coffee, so I'll link this below. I just, literally, this is the exact one that Starbucks uses. My dad got it for me for Christmas, so it's so nice. Um, I do two pumps of this. I pour the espresso, and then I make the cold foam, which I'll show you guys in a second. Okay, cold foam recipe. Half heavy whip half half and half a splash of vanilla syrup let me grab it sometimes i leave this out because it's obviously not the healthiest coffee drink <laughs> but it's just like my favorite it's so good i have this frother from nespresso it came with my machine but i just ordered this one because it's just easier to do and use i don't have batteries for it right now so i'm still going to use this one so i literally just do a splash of this like literally the tiniest bit, half and half, and then heavy whip. Make sure you shake this because I've learned the hard way. You guys, I wasn't even recording when I just did all this, but here she is. This glass is so much bigger than I thought. I highly recommend these glasses. They are so dang cute. And then two pumps of white mocha, two shots of espresso, and then I just poured the cold foam over top. It looks so bomb. If you don't have a espresso machine, I used to just use cold brew concentrate and it's honestly just as good. I just bought um, those pods because I have the machine and I was like, I need to stop going to Starbucks. So I treated myself to the pods, but the cold brew, you can buy at any grocery store, literally any brand, it works just as good. But I'll link all my coffee little things that I use and have down below for you guys if you wanna um, check that out. Obviously this is not the healthiest coffee recipe there is out there i drink coffee in the morning because it's something i look forward to and enjoy so i'm not gonna like force myself to drink black coffee just because it's lower calories obviously if i was like super motivated to get in like super shape or like the wedding or something was coming up i would probably leave out like all the extra added syrups and stuff and just do like a splash of creamer or something but right now it's what i love so i drink it <laughs> thought it was a rug i ordered but it's actually flowers. I have no idea who these are from. Winnie, someone sent us flowers. No idea who they're from. What the heck? Who the heck sent these? so pretty I have no idea okay we're gonna call Dylan because I don't know if these are from him let's see okay well let's go. I'm dumb and I didn't even open the card I'm like <laughs> I'm like crying reading this and it's literally one sentence what is wrong with me Dylan sent me flowers because we can't 
be together. So he said, love your age. Sorry, we couldn't be together. See you soon, Dylan. So cute. I guess they came a day early, but I'm going to put these in a vase. What is wrong with me? I'm not doing well with us being separated again. What is wrong with me? Now that I've got my emotions together, you guys, I'm a freaking mess. Here's the flowers. They are so pretty. And I put them in this vase. This vase is from CB2. It's a few years old, so I don't know if they still have it. But if they do, I will link it. But are you kidding? Dylan is the sweetest boy ever. He's literally driving 24 hours across the country. And he is still managed to order me some flowers to make me feel special. You guys, if you're listening and you're single, do not settle. Because there's guys out there that are sweet boys. <laughs> Thank you.